AI, robotics, and emerging technologies were some of the dominant themes at South by Southwest 2024. Some concepts needed a little more work, like this AI-driven meme generator that turned my selfie into a deformed hand on a steering wheel, and others seemed to offer a glimpse into the future, like the Holobox by HoloConnects. This is the real me, and this is the hologram version of me. Could this be what Zoom meetings of the future will look like? The creators say yes. Well, it's really interesting. Um, you know, if you go through the chronology of how media um, displays have grown, if you all have black and white color, uh, high definition 4K, this is really the next, this is the 20th, uh, 21st century version of really, really high resolution, very lifelike representations of people. And being greeted by a hologram instead of a live person at hotels is already underway. We're installing in 30 hotels across Scandinavia as the check-in device, so you can walk in and check in with a, a person there. But when it comes to HoloConnects and AI, the possibilities seem limitless. We were um, part of uh, the Daytime Emmy Awards, had a sommelier. Um, the, the Biltmore is the uh, vineyard that was the sponsor of the Daytime Emmy Awards. We had their sommelier as AI. You could ask her a lot of different questions and get engaged with her. Um, and we're now moving into medical, uh, a lot of universities and retail. And this isn't my first experience with holograms. In 2012, I was lucky enough to be at Coachella and watch a hologram of Tupac perform on stage. So I had to ask. Is this the same thing as like having Tupac playing at the Coachella? If you look at it from a perspective holograms, yes, it's the same. The technology behind it is different. Um, Tupac is quite expensive. This is a quite cheap technology. You can use it in daylight and every kind of surroundings. Wow. And while they have no plans to bring people back from the dead in hologram form. Like, no, 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 because it's way too futuristic. They say this technology will allow for a human experience as the world becomes more and more digital. With this technology, we can maintain human experience while being there virtually. In Austin, I'm Abija Scarborough.